What's good, Crusader X gang? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a long, long time. Uh, Happy New Year's too. Seeing that this is the first video of 2021, um, I hope everybody is having you know a good start of the year. We already got almost January. Actually, this is the last day of January, so we're almost to February. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to go ahead and start right off by saying I'm very excited to show you guys what you've seen on the photo, the title. It is time to say that the biggest upgrade that I've ever had on any of my cars has finally arrived or finally happened. You know what I'm saying? I finally uh, was able to save up enough and actually do one of the biggest things I've ever done on a car. So. We are gonna go outside and we going I'm gonna show y'all what I'm so excited to show y'all. Like I, I'm just too hype. I'm just too hype. <laughs> and I'm Chopper, you know, Chopper from Tourism. I mean, uh, Chopper from One Piece, you know, you know. You like the hat? Pretty cool, you know. You know, man, anime freak. So I've never actually started One Piece, so I'm over here fronting, but I gotta start. I'm gonna start and see how that is. But anyway, scratch all that noise. Let's y'all let's go see the car. I wanna show y'all what I got what i got all right so you guys we're outside right now in this beautiful wet ass day <laughs> it's not really beautiful because it's raining too much but anyway um i'm ready to show y'all what i've been working so hard working so hard to do and it's been years you know i've had my car for so long and it's like man why haven't i done this earlier why haven't i upgraded it like this was i felt like this was literally like the only thing that like i needed to do so here y'all go, here we go. Let's go ahead and show y'all. Okay, there's my baby. We already got the hood popped. Here we go, here we go. Ready to show y'all what we've been working on. Here we go. Three, two, one. Wee. Ooh, wee. Come on now, y'all. Hold on, let me get this hood up real quick. Slacking. Slacking, slacking. Come on now, y'all. Look at what we have here. My first ever. First ever, y'all. SR20. Now, I was going through a different, like a bunch of, uh, going through a bunch of motors, and I, I had some money finally saved up with all the things going on. And I saw this pop up on, on the, um, what did I see this pop up on? On Facebook. And I jumped on it. I jumped on it right away. Uh, I did all the work myself. Uh, me and my uh, shout out to my brothers, you know, part of Crusader X. They helped me put it in. Uh, yeah, they helped me put it up in here. Um, so we got, I did. We got the wiring specialties harness right here. Um, this is my little throttle cable, freaking, like how I tried to. I need to figure out a different way to do this. So if anybody knows how to do this a different way, uh, please leave in the comments how to get this throttle cable right because this is this shit you know this shit janky as a bitch but we gonna, <laughs> we gonna let that shit slide all right but anyway we got wiring specialties harness um we got i got the gauges wired up you know what i'm saying here's my tent we got we added the mishimoto little um damn sensor on here so that we can read it to the gauge we got a blitz uh blow off valve that came with it and i'm, I'm wondering if people actually use use blow off valves on um on their cars like for drifters because i've been seeing a lot of builds and i don't see no damn blow off <laughs> blow off uh blow off valves unless they hide it i don't know but anyway so yeah we got a we got a isis radiator and the crazy thing about that here I got let me let me explain y'all what happened so through all the craziness to acquire like to get this sr20 um i got it from a dude named trevor uh, Trevor Liska, shout out to him. He was selling a bunch of part, uh, selling a bunch of stuff. He got all the damn 240s you need. You need. He's got like hella S13s, S14s. He got everything. Um, and pretty much, we I had bought this right, and I had bought the ISIS radiator, but we're talking like, what was it like years ago? Like I, I bought the ISIS radiator, and I remember checking on the forums, and they said it was a damn a KA 24DE radiator. So I go, I go home and I try to put it in uh, when I had the KA still, which is right over here. Maybe y'all can see it. it's right over here, hiding on the side. 
and a, a fact about that that is my first motor i've ever i've ever like my first motor from my first car so i had a car before this one uh got in an accident switched the motor out uh this was a shell i'll try to find a picture to throw on right here and uh it had been living since i mean i've drifted on it god damn it's ran on uh three it's ran on uh three cylinders i guess you would say because it's like i one of my spark plugs wasn't working right so it was running on three cylinders um what else has happened one of the spark plug holes is kind of stripped <laughs> so that motor's just been through some shit that motor's just been through some shit um what else is there we got uh so yeah anyway go go continuing on with the isis radiator so i had the radiator right i bought it thought it was k i put it into the damn into the car found out that it was an sr radiator so i'm sitting in there radiator list didn't have nothing only to find out that that shit was an sr radiator you know thankfully enough after time somehow it all seemed to go in a circle and end up blessing me anyway because it ended up working for this sr so i ended up getting an aftermarket radiator without even knowing for a motor that i was getting a year later so like it's just crazy to see how like one thing can just even though it was something bad it turned into a positive after a year like you just never know what will happen so that ended up happening i ended up buying a sr motor that is on the engine stand uh, let's see if i can see that i should have turned the light on in here actually let me go turn the light on I'll show you guys where the engine stand is hold on back into my crib back into my crib let me turn on the light in my crib Okay, so here's the engine stand. This this garage is really messy, y'all. Don't don't judge. Don't judge. Okay, anyway, I gotta clean it up. I gotta clean it up. So here's the that is an SR taken apart. Um, I bought that from a, from somebody on the forums, and uh, they said they had spun a rod, uh, spun a spun a bearing. I pulled the um, I pulled the uh, I pulled everything apart. I checked the bottom end, only to see that a whole rod had broke off inside the damn block. <laughs> so so if I could show you, if I could flip it around, I, I don't want to show you right now because you know I'm not I don't think I'd be able to get that all set up. <laughs> but if if you were to flip that around you would see a big ass gash in the block. So that was another like I spent like a thousand for that. That was another bad buy but in when I had gotten this motor which then again still goes all back in the positive. I um, I had an extra starter. I bought this motor. The starter was going out, and when I, when I had finished putting everything together, I was getting hella hype. I was like, "Yo, let's start it. Let's start." And it wouldn't start. And I was like, "What the fuck? Is is the shit messed up? Did I mess up? Did I not put the wires together? I'm checking the connections." And then I'm getting the clicking noise. Like if you if you've heard like when the starter's going out, it just makes a click, 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 click. And then like if you tap it, it it can start. So I was trying to tap it, it didn't work. So I was like, "Fuck it." Let me find this extra starter and try to um, switch that out. So I switched that out. Bam. Shit starts right up. Starts right up. And that was just like another another uh, crazy ass, like negative the positive ass. Like, <laughs> like minute. Like it's just, it's just wild how things can just work like that. So now I got like a spare SR. I plan on, if I can, like take it out to the shop and get it rebuilt. And then maybe put it in the vert. Or just have a spare backup so when I go to the track and everything and, uh, you know, continue all that that up. But anyway, let's get back into more details about the SR. So, we got the SR here, right? Um, I got the gauges inside. We're going to show you, show you the gauges. Hopefully it's not too dark. We're going to show you the gauges. Okay, so here's the inside of the hatch. Um, I am missing this center. Don't, don't, you know, my interior is pretty clean. I try to keep my interior as clean as possible. Hold on, I'm trying to get in the car. It's kind of close. All right, so here is the inside. I'm trying to find another one of these center pieces. So if anybody happens to have any, I need one because this looks really bad. I need one with the damn bracket so I can put my shift boot on. I mean, it looks good on that. But anyway, here are the gauges. I got some uh, sh uh, glow shifts. They do work. Where am I? I don't have my keys. They do work. I'll have to grab my keys so that I can turn it on. Um, I wired it. There's like a hole behind this that all the wires are connected to. They go back down here behind the dash. Now, if you look behind this dash, 
you're talking about a whole bunch of messy ass wire. You know, I didn't make it really clean because when you when you open it, you take the dash out, you realize all oh, that shit isn't clean. I kind of wish I did, but I wasn't thinking at the time. <laughs> I was just so. It sometimes it sucks when you rush, but at the same time, it's a drift car. If it works, it works. I'm just trying to drift. You know what I'm saying? Then I can go back and redo it. But anyway, so that it runs through there, comes over here through this, comes through this. And then I want to say comes down into here. Actually, it might just go down to the fuse box down at the bottom. I might have, yeah, down to the fuse box. You see them? They go right there. That's the cables to the fuse box that they go to. So those work. I'm going to go get my keys so that I can show y'all. Okay, so we got the keys. We're going to turn it on. Y'all will be able to see. So the gauges light up. They work. Uh, we got the boost gauge up top. I got... Um, water temp and then i got oil pressure now i don't have my oil pressure set up yet because i didn't put the uh the um the freaking the added part which i have right here in the back seat let me grab it this i have to throw the sandwich plate on there i don't know why what this is from, from glow shift they gave me this the sandwich adapter with the uh pieces to connect for the oil pressure so i need to get that hooked up and i still need an afr gauge i don't have that either and that is a necessity like no other so I did a battery relocation. We got, you know, the pot. They're both black because I couldn't get a different color wire. They didn't have the gauge in a different color. So I got two black wires, one of the positive, one of the minus. Bought a um, bought battery box from O'Reilly's. Ran it to a fuse. And the orange one is the uh, my speaker. This is a uh, backseat delete speaker box. Um... Yeah, so there's that, and then I'll show y'all how the connection is in the front of the car. Let's hop back up out of here. Okay, so here is the connection. We have it to a ball. I've seen this online. They just, you know, you trim off the, uh, you take off the end to the actual, the old terminal or whatever, and you attach this to it, and then to the cable that goes to your starter and everything like that, you just connect them together. Now, I think you could just run, one of these you could just run straight there, to the power or whatever, right straight to the battery. I think you can run the power wire straight to the starter and it powers everything. I didn't know that, so I just went with the simple way. The only thing I have to say about this, it doesn't really work too well. Sometimes it might like not have full power when you start it. So you just gotta give it a little bit of gas and it'll kick on. You'll turn the car on and then like the gauges will be kind of dim and then you rev it a little bit, it'll, it'll get more, you know, more power from the battery. That's my only downfall about that. So I need to switch that up or something. Um, Let's see what else. So yeah, there's that. Um, now we have the front intercooler. I did the holes myself. This is a unknown intercooler. I don't know what it is. I got it for Christmas years back. Um, thinking this was even before I had an SR20. I had this intercooler bought for me on Christmas for my mom. So shout out to my mom. She bought it for me, but I drilled the holes and uh, tried to align this as perfect as possible. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got the intercooler right here. It is mounted on this bracket, which is like, it's connected to the this, like a T, it's like a T bracket. And it's only it's only on the top and it doesn't really move very much. So I only have it bracketed up top. I need to get something to bracket the bottom, but I don't, I don't, I don't weld or nothing. So like, it's kind of hard to, <laughs> to come up with brackets, you know what I'm saying? That'll fit the shit, so. All right, guys, so you've seen the motor, you've seen the gauges you've seen all the work that i did to get it to where we are to where it is now so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use um i actually let my little brother drive drive the car and um we're going to go ahead and use that video because i know you probably wanted me to turn it on and everything um but i would rather use this video of him driving the car instead because it means more to me you know than to just have it like that i'd rather you guys see this so you guys are about to see my brother drive the now SR20 hatch.
you think? What you think? Bro, you got it, bro. You got it, bro. <laughs> this is a bust down. No Tatianas. No Tatianas. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed the video. Um, I plan on 
making more and more i'm sorry that it hasn't been as consistent it's just like usually a lot of the times like i can only put out what i have um like when i have upgrades or something like if i have something to buy and like that and i haven't been able to do that lately you know with everything going on so um i appreciate you guys sticking sticking around sticking with us i love y'all and i uh, like comment and share subscribe for this video and then I'll catch y'all on the next one. We got some more things coming up. More things coming up for the cars. So there will definitely be more videos on the channel. But I appreciate every one of y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.